Pavel Giannis and the Aviators have already engineered one playoff upset a couple weeks ago at Colorado. And tonight, the Aviators get their best shot at Jordan Kerr and the Salt Lake Shred. It's a beautiful night here in Salt Lake City, and we welcome you to Zion's Bank Stadium. The Aviators and the Shred for the West Division title and a spot in championship weekend in Minnesota in a couple weeks. It is so great to have you with us alongside Ian Toner, working in the backfield with Brandon Van Dusen. It's Everest Shapiro, Sam Cook, Marcel Osborne, Michael Keoy, and Sean McDougal as the five cutters. And they're a pretty stingy seven-person unit. Van Dusen looking long. Everest Shapiro catches it in stride. And the Aviators make a strong opening statement in just 30 seconds. Hey, I'd do the Macarena too if I scored. And yet Salt Lake slicing through the LA defense early. Again, this afternoon was quite windy, but right now it is very calm. Jordan Kerr gets his first touch. And how about that? The backhand right into the teeth of the defense. Kiyoi keeps it moving. Here's Shapiro who caught the first goal. Back to Giannis. Chad Jorgensen and Will Selfridge expected to take the Giannis matchup tonight. Two of Salt Lake's top defenders that Bryce Merrill's planning to throw at Pavel. Patient possession, and patience pays off. Kioi to Giannis. After about 75 seconds off the clock. I'm wondering if he wasn't seeing structurally what he wanted. I understand the stall count was rising, but these are creative guys who've gotten themselves out of tough situations before. And to the end zone, Jace Dunabile comes to the disc, beating Milan Ravenel to the spot. Mazur got a piece of the backhand, and it was incredibly kept alive by Sean Canole. Mazur could have sworn he had the D, but Canole able to keep it alive, and then a tight space throw for Kerr. How about the first block of the night for Chris Mazur, and it doesn't even go as a block. Kerr with his beautiful forehand connecting with Miller deep. I mean, that is the bread and butter throw for Jordan Kerr. You've just moved the disc laterally. You've got the defense repositioning. Final seconds of the first. Five all here in the West title game. Garrett Santi uncorks a huck to the end zone, and it is intercepted by Kyle Weinberg, giving us the game's first turnover at the first quarter buzzer. Back to Lindsley. Over to the owner's son, Max DeLynn. Middle of the field, Sean McDougal says, give me that. How many times have we seen that? This and we'll see if it can channel that energy into focus. How about that defense from Johnny Hunt? Salt Lake O-line should be rested. They scored in 30 seconds to start this second quarter. They've had about five, six minutes to rest. Sean Canole, deep backhand. Jordan Kerr, chased by Valley, and Kerr's got it. The fans enjoyed seeing that shot from Sean Canole. Was wondering when Canole was gonna send one to the house, and look, Fun talking to members of the Empire and the Shred after that week 12 game. Many different players on both sides said it was the largest crowd they'd ever played in front of here at Zion's Bank Stadium. And in the middle, wide open, Michael Keoy puts LA back on top, 8-7. To the final four, but in almost every other year, there has been at least one big surprise in this weekend. Some years more than one. Kerr to the end zone, a floater, and it is pulled down in bounds. 
Mitchell Steiner can't believe it. He is insisting that he possessed the disc first and perhaps pleading for an integrity call. Duna Bile credited with a goal. Steiner pushed away from the argument. And again, just won't die. Ever Shapiro has had a massive game so far. Stretching the disc claims deep. A stall was just called on Shapiro. What? That was quick. And Shapiro, Moonga picks up, throws it deep. Shapiro was arguing, Salt Lake breaks. And if that's not a commentator's curse, I don't know what is. Jeff Landisman is running onto the field. Lake City. I, I want to replay with a timer looking at that stall call. Because another turnover. Redheads absolutely going berserk. And into the end zone for another break. It is pandemonium here. Against Shapiro, felt awfully fast. And maybe I'll be wrong upon replay. Kiyoi, make it to Van Dusen off balance, throws it deep to Giannis, who skies Weinberg and dishes to Osborne. Remember that sequence and Pavel in unfamiliar territory going up for the sky ball in the deep space. How about that from Pavel? And Kerr's about 45 yard downfield, now coming under. Lindsley fakes the backhand. Final minute of this first half. We were tied five all at the end of one. Kerr's first touch of the possession. Hammer to Dunabio. Yes! The fatigue from both lines was evident on that point. The hustle down on the pull from the D-line. The pressure when Salt Lake was working in its own end zone. Giannis, Scoobers for Shapiro. Seven seconds of the stadium clock. Van Dusen's got to have an eye on it. Van Dusen shooting into a crowd. Joel Clutton there for Salt Lake, and he comes down with it with Shapiro on his back. Joel Clutton makes the play at the buzzer. LA basically keeps a tight seven-man unit on the O-line. Salt Lake has an eight-person mix, substituting one guy each O-point. Lindsley's going deep. Dunabile with a gorgeous forehand to connect with Grant Lindsley. I don't know if I've made a big enough deal tonight. Sam Cook in the middle. Cook's been a solid connector tonight. Hasn't done anything spectacular, but he's been very solid. Really, everyone on this Aviators O-line has been very, very solid. And when you play solid O, you don't need to be spectacular. Even against but now this offensive group has repositioned and it's consolidating, trying to set that vertical stack in the middle of the field. And Deucen breaks the mark. Shapiro floats it perfectly for Sam Cook. Was a little worried about the structure and spacing. But they made the adjustment. Jaime sees Lindsley moving forward. Grant in power position, lets it fly. And what a catch by Chase Dunabile. Going up against Milan Ravino and Jordan Kerr's in the end zone again. It's almost like Ravino wasn't even aware that the deep shot had gone up with the way he reacted. Took too long getting it set. So LA has the disc again and gets it back just like that. Whoa. It's the same official who called the stall on Shapiro in the first half. Make up or not. You, you took the words right out of my mouth. McDougal from Van Dusen. This is must score time for LA. Remember Salt Lake is gonna receive to start the fourth as well. 
So the Aviators need to get one here to close out the quarter. Giannis centers for Osborne. That's what they needed, the field switch. Van Dusen to McDougal. Giannis, a holster, he's unmarked. But of course the time's running out and he uses the scuba to create some space and connect with Marcel Osborne with one second left. What do you think of that defensive wrinkle leaving Giannis unmarked? Dunabile finds Kerr, unmarked for the moment. Ambrose and Santi, slight miscommunication. Here's Lindsley. Great adaptive mark there from Santi, taking away the backfield option and forcing Lindsley to look to the next. Remember, Salt Lake out of timeouts now. If their O-line can keep converting, they won't need them. Lindsley from Luke Jorgensen. So, L.A. Teams have been very careful tonight, and you see the Huck numbers. Not a ton of deep throws from either side, trying to be very purposeful to maintain possession. That was a dangerous throw, and it's bobbled and caught for a Callahan. Tony Moonga through the hands of Brandon Van Dusen, and the shred take their largest lead of the night. Unbelievable. The release point. If you rolled it out of bounds there, it would go to the middle. Hill. Kerr picks up. And that was just nifty. Blading it with the perfect angle and direction for Jace Dunabile. Back for Van Dusen. Two cutters there. Brunker calls off Osborne and now shoots it deep. Three aviators going deep. And Michael Keoy takes charge when it looked like Joel Clutton might. And you can see the progression and the discipline, the real discipline within this group relative to the way this O-line comported itself just a season ago. And Jordan Kerr had a couple different options there. He passed up Grant Lindsley to the far side to hit his man, Jace Dunabile, with that inside back. Really didn't touch a disc hardly at all. Came back, enrolled in BYU, helped bring that program to prominence. Now in his third year in the AUDL, the first with the Spiders and now with the Shred. Calvin Brown showing his elite skills. Launching long to Sean McDougal. It's 22 Salt Lakes O-line looking to continue to stay perfect. Bold shot from Nunabile and Valley gets the block. This is just the second break chance of the night for L.A. And the Unbelievable stat. And something for him and the group to learn from. One more for Jordan Kerr. And Salt Lake can taste it. They need to touch the disc and complete one pass. And Grant Lindsley and the Salt Lake Shred are going to championship weekend.